Hey guys, it's Anne Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today I have a new island tour for you guys. This is Louise's island. I'm gonna put her Instagram name on the screen. This island's name is Bellini, and it is a vintage, colorful town located somewhere around the Mediterranean Sea. I've been seeing pictures of this on her Instagram and it is simply stunning. So I toured another one of her islands recently called Mimosa, which was a tropical island. But now we are moving on to this beautiful vintage town. So let's jump straight into this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's pull up her map. So here is her map. Her dream address is on the screen if you want to visit yourself. She did decorate the interiors of all of the houses and she did decorate her beaches as well. So here we have Louise, we have Rowan, Bones, Sky, Cookie, Raymond, Dom, Melba, Diana, Wolfgang, and Fang. I'm loving the way this map looks so far. I'm also going to show you her custom map. So here is Bellini's custom map. It is very detailed. I'm obsessed with it. The person who made the map is, let me find it, Loth underscore ACNH on Instagram. I love all the pretty colors and it's kind of simple but also detailed so I'm obsessed. I think I'm going to have to get this person to make my next map as well. I'm, a, I'm obsessed. I love it so much. But let's continue on the tour. We're going to check out her entrance. So this is the entrance to Bellini. Very detailed, very vintage and tropical-ish. I'm already in love with all of the views. Let's check out where resident services is in relation to the entrance. She also is giving us a bunch of gifts when we first wake up. So we have some props and outfits. So don't worry, she's got you an outfit covered when you come to visit this island. I love that there's a little shop right here. Let me get a better view. She just put a little door here and some medieval building walls and made a makeshift building. I love that. So if you follow along this brick pathway here, it's going to eventually lead us to resident services. But check out this beach area. We have a little boating area, a boat dock and fishing can get some fishing done and you can see resident services in the back. We have a little bay area here with some boats parked. And here is an amazing view of resident services. I love all of the greenery around and the relaxing fountain. But right before we get there, there is a pizza shop. Ooh, I'm so hungry right now, you guys. I would love to have some pizza. This is so cute. We also have a little menu here, but I'm all about the pizza. She also has her kiosk open. She made three custom designs in there. One of them is her island flag, which you can see over here. Beautiful little flag. And I love how she did her resident services layout. Look at those views behind us. I'm so excited to explore this island. But let's keep going. Ooh, I really love this custom design right here. It's like a little planter. This pathway is stunning. So here's like a little surf shop. Kind of, or just maybe like a little resort. That's probably what this is. Like a little beach house resort type thing. Where you can hang out. Lots of activities here on the beach. 
I love the custom design up on the umbrella here. Wow, this is really pretty. I am terrible at doing her, doing beaches. All right, let's keep going along the pathway. Also, there's just a little swimming area here and a lifeguard lookout. Ooh, and this looks really relaxing as well. You can play some chess here on the beach. She said she just decorated stuff on the beach with whatever she had left in storage. And she did a better job than me, who, which is trying to actually decorate. She's just like, oh, I have this laying around, you know, just winging it. And it looks stunning. But look at this view right here. This island is so, so pretty. But let's keep going along this pathway. Here we have a nice little seating area to enjoy some pie or coffee. These gazebos might be like my favorite item in the game. They're amazing. We have a little picnic area to the right on the beach as well. This is what's behind resident services. Some terraforming and flowers. Ooh, I love the double bridges that you can see and the double stairway and look what it is. It's the museum. But here is her river mouth entrance. And here is her castle, AKA the museum. What a breathtaking museum. And we have her island peninsula over here. Little secret area. I'm sure there's a way to get down there. Do I know the way? I don't think so. We'll look for a way as we continue along the island. But to the left of the museum is the gift shop. What museum is complete without a gift shop? Every single museum has one. Every one that I've been to. I'm loving all of these custom designs on the ground. And I love the little brick bridge. Oh, this is so adorable. And here's just like a little bus stop or just a little park bench and we come to our first villager home which looks like it's going to be a clothing shop so let's go inside here we have Raymond's clothing boutique why do I feel like his clothing would be so posh and expensive that's because he's posh remember when everybody was like paying for Raymond real money paying real money to get Raymond on their island everybody was obsessed until Sasha came along Sasha is the new Raymond I love this little neighborhood this looks like it would be a library whose house is this Fang's house the outside is stunning I love it and we found a bakery. Let's go inside. Here is Cookie's Little Bakery Cake Shop. Looks so cute. I don't want to spend a lot of time indoors because it does add a lot of time to the island tours when I go inside. So I highly recommend visiting any dream address that I go to for yourself so you can see all of the interiors and possibly a new villager will be home that isn't home when I'm visiting. But look at this little vegetable farm. This was the, this was a picture I saw on her Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to visit. I love the little farm. Oh my goodness. Like it really made me want to visit. 
even more than all of the other decorative areas that are so beautiful as well. But I just really loved that little farm. Just have a sweet spot for farms. So let's come down here and we have some more houses. Oh, this is so aesthetic, you guys. We have some seafood to the left and a library in the back. Let's go in here and see what kind of seafood we have. So this is Wolfgang's seafood restaurant. Look at your pretty view out of the window when you're eating your seafood. Stunning. His restaurant has a reward over here. Not a reward, an award on the wall. Best seafood in town. And look at the little fishy. That's going to be our dinner. Sorry, fishy. And here's our next villager home. I'm not sure what the theme would be here. But they're not home, so we can't go. But this is Bones' house. And here's another cute little house. Let's go inside. Wow, look at Sky's painting studio. This is so creative. She's got her, her a big window to get inspiration from. Lots of paint everywhere, but this is still so aesthetic. I love it. Good job, Sky. Keep painting those murals. And let's continue on over the bridge. And here we have a little boating area by the water and another building. This must be somebody's house. I'm still trying to figure out how we would get to the right side of the beach, but I don't see a way. So this is just such a lovely little area. Look at all the views in the background as well. And this is actually the post office. Little post office area coming up to on the left. Look how cute this post office is. Very vintage. Just fits her theme perfectly. And I am in wide angle camera mode. So that's why the museum is over there like floating. Sometimes wide angle, wide angle camera mode can't load everything on the island. But up here we have a viewpoint of the lighthouse. And the tiered neighborhood. Which you can't see in portrait mode. You can see it in regular wide angle camera mode. Look how stunning that is. This is just such a beautiful island. And I don't know whether to go straight. Let's see. I think straight just takes us to the entrance. Okay, so we've already done that. So we're going to go to the left. Which is going to take us to Nook's Cranny. But we have an ice cream shop. Ooh, yum. This is such a nice little area here. And it looks like a milk and cheese shop to the right or a dairy shop. And a flower shop. So lots of little shopping over here. This must be the town. Look at those views. And we have a little gas station here as well. Or maybe it's also where you can get your car fixed up. So just directly to the left of the entrance is the campsite. On this little piece of beach right here. This is one of my favorite places that people put their campsites. Right at the front of the island. Looking stunning. And lots of pretty views in the front. Or in the back, not in the front. Lots of pretty views all around. And it's actually next to her 
second river mouth. We're gonna go across this bridge, check out the views. Love it. You can see Able Sisters back there. And I'm getting off track. I should have gone back to Nooks. So let's go back to Nooks. So here is the beautiful Nooks Cranny. Nestled in, I love that it's on a lower level, kind of just in the middle of the town. And Abel's is to the left. I always love when people put Abel's and Nooks next to each other. And Nooks has a little fishing area, a place to sit and have a smoothie. So, so pretty. Look at that. And let's go up to Able Sisters as well. Perfectly decorated to suit the theme. We have some clothes outside. I love the fountain in front or waterfall. Very tropical. And that sky and wide angle camera mode is always so breathtaking. And this gets us back to our little farm. And let's go to the left. Here we see a giant flower field. So, so colorful. Let's go sit in the middle of it. Just me and my flowers chilling. I love it. And I love the code back there on the cliff. So it makes it look like it's a fence and it kind of makes it look like the bushes are continued. And here is Louise's house. Look how beautiful. Pink, my favorite color. And I like that it's right next to the secret beach as well. Melba is photobombing us. But I love the little secret beach. Amazing. And let's go inside of her house. Ooh, I really like the beach to the left as well. Got some tea. It's a tea spot over there. Here is her beautiful pink living room. I like that it's divided so it's not just one big rectangular room. Wow, this bathroom looks like it's for royalty. I love the pink shower. I always forget that that shower item exists. And when I'm when I see it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need that. But I never upgrade the size of my house. I like the look of the outside of the small house, but I love that you get so many rooms to decorate when you make your house huge. Like, look at this kitchen kitchen for royalty as well i'm gonna call this house a vintage castle i love it now we're gonna go upstairs and here is the primary suite fit for a princess that would live in this castle i don't know i'm not a big fan of having a huge primary bedroom because it's a waste of space in real life of course you know it could be two bedrooms this this room could be two bedrooms but that is it for her house she did not have a basement let's check out the tea shop over here so beautiful i would love to sit here with my besties have some tea and i love that cardboard cutout back there Let's keep going. So here we have just a beautiful relaxing pathway to take a nice walk. Excuse me, Melba. We're going back past Abel's. And let's go down then to the left. Over the cute little brick bridge. 
Here's another brick bridge. I wanted to see that view, which is stunning. And it looks like we have a little market here. Oh my goodness, another bridge. I love it. Look how many bridges in a row. Three bridges. That's a nice view. That might be the thumbnail, you guys. You might have already seen this. I love all of the colors that this island is giving us. There's a little fruit shop over here. I love that she's making buildings. And here is the cafe. The mid medieval vintage cafe. Such an Instagrammable spot if this was real life. Here we have a nice little bar where we can stop and get a drink for the beach. Love it. I love the display cases with the open sign. And here's two more villager homes. This is Rowan's home. And this is Dom's house. So here we are at the rock garden and another little neighborhood. Look at those views here as well. Oh, I see a yoga studio. We're about to be able to go do some yoga. But here is the beach. Oh, and here's Louise. Hey, Louise. And here we have a little dock. So cute. You can have a picnic on the pier. A nice beach campfire. My weakness is s'mores, you guys. And a nice picnic on the beach. Let's go check out the yoga studio. I'm so excited. Diane's yoga studio. I would love to come do some yoga here with the nice view. It's like luxury yoga. And to the left side, this was probably a flower shop. Melba's house. I feel like not as many of the villagers were home that usually are home. I feel like there's usually like six of them at home, but maybe not. Because that is all I have for you guys today. Here's a little salad shop, salad and soup shop. But I did go through the entire island. So I just want to say thank you so much to Louise on Instagram. I will put her username on the screen. Thanks for having me. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of this island. And thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.